All right, today we're going to be looking at understanding search engines. So what that means is, how does a search actually work? So what does Google do when you search? First of all, it is searching the index. So when you click the Google search button, Google is actually racing through billions of web pages to find the page that contains the word or phrases or group of words that you've used in your query. Then it analyzes the web pages for relevance. Google screens web pages in the index to see which ones are most likely to have what you're looking for. The next thing it does is evaluate each site's reputation. Google looks at how often other websites link to these pages to determine the, how popular or useful each one is. And then it's going to rank those web pages uh, in relevance to your search words. So Google presents your results with what Google believes are the most useful pages at the very top. So what you need to know is how to find the right keywords to use. So I'm going to ask that as I read these questions, uh, I'm going to have you pause the video here and there. So be ready for that. So if you will open a new tab, so while you're watching me, open a new tab and we're going to actually um, practice a search and kind of mess around with it and see what happens. So first of all, I want you to think of a topic or a question you would like to search for. It can be anything. Okay, pick three or four words to use in the search, search query, and then go ahead and type them in right now and pause the video, see what kind of results you get and come back to this video once you have those results. Okay, so you should have already searched for those three or four keywords in your search. What happens if you reorder those? So add some capitalization or punctuation, take out a word or two like the ofs or the thes or the a's, take those things out, see what happens and go ahead and pause the video and see what happens and come back to my video once you're done. Okay, what matters in a search query? Number one, every word matters. Number two, order matters. So like if you were searching blue sky or sky blue, it matters. Capitalization does not matter. If you type in Barack Obama not capitalized or Barack Obama capitalized, doesn't matter. Punctuation does not matter. If you type in red colon delicious with an exclamation point and apple question mark, it's the same thing essentially as typing red delicious apple with no punctuation. There are some exceptions, so we're going to click here and see what those exceptions are. So, common search techniques. If you want um, something with social media, put at in front of the words, like at Twitter. Search for a price, put, a, of course, a dollar sign in front of it. So, camera, $400. Search a hashtag, throwback Thursday, for example. Exclude words from your search. Now, this is one I'm sure you did not know. If you put a minus in front of a word you want to leave out, like Jaguar and speed, but you don't want the Jaguar car, put minus car and it will eliminate everything about a car and a Jaguar. So that's a very useful tool. Search for an exact ma match by putting in ex or, uh, quotation marks around exactly what you're looking for. Like if you're looking for the tallest building, put it in quotation marks if you want that. Search with a range of numbers. Put between uh, two numbers. For example, camera between $50 and $100. Put an or in between um, a search query. For example, marathon or race. You can also uh, put site, S-I-T-E, in front of a site or domain if you're looking for like a YouTube site or a govern government site. So that's going to come in handy, especially if you're looking for reliable sources. Um, look, put in related after you've searched the web for something related to time.com and then put uh, cash in front of something that um, you want like other versions of a site. Okay. Going back to this. How do you come up with the right words to search for? Can you remember a time when you had trouble finding something you were looking for? Because a lot of students make the uh, mistake of putting too many words that do not matter. So if you're searching, let's say, a full question, 
it's actually searching for every single word that you are typing in that question. So eliminate some of the useless words. You don't have to search in a full question. So here are some tips for better searches. Keep it simple. Describe what you want in as few terms as possible. Think of how a page you want will be written. Use words that are likely to appear on the page. Use descriptive, descriptive specific words. Avoid general or common words. Okay, think before you search. So what am I looking for? How would I talk about this? How would someone else talk about this? How can I describe this better? And what kind of results am I looking for? So I want you to go ahead and give it a try. Pick a topic you want to find out about and brainstorm keywords to use in your search query. Remember, keep it simple. Use descriptive words. Think of how the page will, uh, you want will be written. And um, what you're going to do is narrow it down. And I want you to make a um, chart just like this, a little, uh, what do you call that, web. <laughs> and I want you to start um, coming up with ideas of what you can narrow down to get more accurate results.